So what's up my fish people man today is another beautiful day bring you guys on a little vlogging today right now i am about to get the hose because i'm doing water changes it's time to fill these tanks back up stick around we got some things to do in the fish room all right so down here in the fish room right now and getting these tanks filled up i just escaped this tank recently i'm sorry if it's like real dark down here been trying to work on the lighting and stuff but for the most, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, as you can see, you're running some water into this. All I'm doing is just adding water, nothing crazy. And, whew, I'm out of breath because I was just ran in from outside. So pretty much what's been going on in the fish room today is I finally got this aquarium set up. And I like how it came out. That rock work with the wood. It came out super nice. I have yet to put any filtration on it. I just went ahead and got the water in it because I just wanted to get that water cycled. And eventually I would put, I put some auto start in there, some quick start as far as get the cycle going. And I'll be adding some fish to speed up this process. And I got some sponge filters that to go in there also. Pan over here, I don't know if you guys seen this, but I finally got this set up together. I got one of these, 30 gallons across the top, a 55, and I think that's a 20 over there. Finally got this aquarium scaped. And it's looking real good. Some piece of driftwood I got from like um, the park or something like that, but it's looking all right. Let's go check on this water because this thing, they really need to be filled up too often. We'll just switch it over to here. Make it a mess. It is what it is. It's a basement. Finally got this one set up. You guys seen that video. I really can't wait to put fish in here, but it is what it is for right now. As far as me, when I add water, I just add water. Um, and then I add my dechlorinator afterwards. I don't necessarily even do water changes. I just pretty much tap them, top them off. So like these ponds, you know, they so low to the ground. I could get a sump pump and, you know, drain the water out of here but i just top them off you know with some nice cool cool water that's coming in and once i feel like it's getting um full or where i wanted that i cut it off and we'll go over to this next tank and i'm doing this one hand so i'm probably gonna make a big mess and now we're just gonna fill up this little guppy tank and it's about how much water i take out i took out probably about I don't even know what that percentage is. But I took out just a little bit of percentage of water out of there, not much. I ain't got my stuff's wet right here. Eventually I'm gonna get a better system, but it is what it is. You know, I don't be caring about that type of stuff. As long as my fish get what they need. Good added water straight right in. Run it across the top of these plants to release any of that food. Aquarium. And I probably spilled some more water. Who cares? It's a basement. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna keep filling up. I'm actually gonna um put like a little pinch on it so that way it don't pop up on me again like that. And I lose water. So let me do that while I'm recording. While you guys watch it, I'll do the pinch. So I can control the flow. Alright. Cool water, cool water. Hopefully it make them breathe. Shoot. I pray it make them breathe. They've been looking good though. All right, that's enough water in that corner. Let's go down here to this one. And just blast the water in there. 
If it ain't going hard to fish, they be all right. They love that, that new fresh water. It's like it just rained or something. Switch over to this one. White is off. These black mascals actually have some babies in here. I don't know if you guys, you probably can't see them, but came the other morning and the black mascals had babies in here. So that is really exciting. The light is off right now because I was using, I had it off and right now my hands are, you see how my hands are? I can't do too much, so. Add some fresh, cool water from here. Tank looking kind of cloudy. I need to add some more plants to here. Can you see how this tank is like lush? These plants are doing super well, and it's all done off of that light right there. Shout out to Muhammad Ali, Jimi Hendrix. But it's, it's all off of that light right there. And they're doing dope. I've grown so many plants off just that little five dollar light I got at Walmart. Like easy low light plants. You know, you ain't gonna do no high tech stuff, but. Some easy low light. All right, this aquarium is full. Let's pop over to this one. And to be honest, the amount of water that I'm adding and that I took out, you really don't even need to dechlorinate the water. Um, depending on your water though, I'm not gonna just suggest anything to you. Uh, my water's pretty good. Don't really have any problems with my water. And then, then again, I don't do a lot of water changes nor am I taking out 20%, I'm not even taking out 20%, I'm taking out maybe 5% of the water and replacing it with just 5% of this type of water. And I'll top some of these tanks off with like uh, a cap or something of um, some prime or whatever, but for the most part, I'm not gonna do too much. The fish are gonna be all right. We just top the tanks off. Get some fresh water flowing on that side. All right, we're gonna switch over to this tank. This is where those guppies are at. Some gumbo ears. I didn't even really take much water out of here, so this tank is gonna fill up fairly quick. Again, I just wanted some new fresh water coming in as if it was raining. That's pretty much how I do a water change. I don't really change the water, I just, Top them off, put plenty of plants, let the plants do the filtration, and let nature take its course. Thing about fish keeping, man, you can't overdo it. Don't overdo it. When you overdo it, um, you start killing fish. And I'm seeing some fin nibbit over here in this aquarium. Actually. South American tank. Starting to see that uh, this tank ain't doing too well. I'm seeing a lot of fin nipping. Uh, I thought these angels were gonna be able to close this with these guys, but I wanna have to remove some of these fish out of here. That's why I'm setting up these other aquariums so that way I can get these um, bigger cichlids out of here. The cichlids that's going to get bigger. Get these guys out of here um, so that way they don't be fin nipping on these beautiful angels too much. So that's why that tank over there and the one in the far, far back is being set up because we need more space for these guys. All right, let's check on this aquarium over here. This is a shrimp tank. And they're doing amazing in here. Doing really good. Hopefully this fresh water will bring them, make them wanna start breeding for me. I haven't had any casualties since I picked them up, but I also haven't seen any signs of breeding. This is like by far my most successful 
aquarium in the fish room right now, just off the base of, you know, I've been had this particular fish for a while and it does well and it's a beautiful fish and it produces very well. There's tons of babies in here. They don't eat their babies. Tons of babies all up in the algae and the hornwort that's up in here. Um, hopefully these bristle noses they like this fresh water that's coming in. And um, they can start breeding because I want me some bristle nose babies. Don't you? So, yeah, once this fill up, I'm going to be starting filling up this aquarium here. And first, we're making sure that thing holds water. We gotta get it, make sure it hold water first. So we're almost full. But the tank, I mean, but the fish room is coming along. This tank here, I really, I really impressed myself with this skate. See, like I got the little pieces of sticks right there. Like this is, this came out really well. All right. Let's go over here. We're gonna let this boy just fill up. Use this to hold this hose down. And um, that way that hose don't flop up. And we're gonna let this boy just fill up. And once that fill up, I'll be back and holler at you guys. Okay, so we finally got this tank filled up with water. We're gonna be getting some filtration put on this and Getting some fish added to it. Let me know in the comment section what type of fish I should add to this aquarium. I have some ideas, but it's always nice to see what you guys have to say. All the tanks are filled up looking good now. And I actually went ahead and filled this aquarium up over here. Um, this is another 55 gallon. Um, looking really good. Got that filled up. The rock working here is amazing. Once this clear and I get some filtration on this, it's gonna look amazing. Um, as far as the rest of the room though, all this back stuff down here in my basement, this is like just, you know, again, this is a basement. So I'm working with what I got. So I need to do something over here in this area and construct something I'm not exactly sure, but I know for sure this area here, I will be pulling out this dresser here soon. And I wanna expand this area. Um, because I'm gonna be needing some bigger tanks and I have a room back here that I'm gonna be um, turning to like where my monster tanks are going to be. But for right now, I want to get this dresser out of here and I wanna get a rack system where I can have just my 20 gallon longs here um, because I, I need room for fish once they start to breed over in those aquariums. All these, I need room to grow out fish because I have a rack system over there, but that's for the babies. But after they're babies, we have to bring them here. Um, and then I'll have them get ready for to be sold. But for right now, I need another rack system. And I might actually put um, some more fish here that I want to breed. You know, you never know. This is with me. You just never know. So all this, like this curtain, everything here, our thing is going to be coming down. And I'm going to be revamping this and making this a lot more functional for me to move around down here. Because this pond is kind of in the way. Um, it's real big. Uh, so it doesn't give me much room. So I want to rotate some things around. And like I say all the time, everything is always changing down here in the fish room. And that's just what it is. So that's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this type of style of video. Um, if it's your first time being here, make sure you guys give it a big like and subscribe to my channel. And turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop more videos like this one. If not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I holler.